Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to go over using the quick mask mode. And you can find the quick mask mode button over here on the left underneath your colors that you're picking from, your foreground and background color. So it's this little uh, button here with the square with the dotted circle in between. Now what a quick mask is, is it, it's a mode that gives you the ability to create a selection using painting and drawing tools and you can do it without creating a channel mask. So let's get in into it and I'll show you how it works. So go ahead and load up any picture and let me zoom in a little bit on here for you. There we go, that's good enough. And we're going to click on the edit and quick mask mode button. You can see that the hotkey is Q. So click on that and then you can see that the colors change from, to black and white here. Now black is going to paint in the mask and white is going to erase the mask. So go ahead and select your brush tool because remember that you're going to be using painting and drawing tools to create these new masks. And I'll make this a little smaller but once I start painting on here you can see it comes in as red. And just go ahead and paint out something, doesn't matter <clears throat> what it is. And the area that you have um, created here, or the area that I have in red here, that is going to be where you have masked. If you go into your channels panel, you can see that there is a quick mask that has been made. So if you need to check and see if it's working correctly, just open up the channels and then open up and then look into the quick mask section here. Now, if I switch the colors here, over here on the left, and start painting, you can see that the paint or the mask has disappeared from the areas I painted in the white. And if you look in your quick mask over here on your channels panel, you can see that there is white in the area that I just painted in. And this is basically just how you erase your quick mask. So let's paint in some black here to give us some type of a mask looking thing. So that's good enough. And then we can click on this again to go back to standard mode. And you can see that a selection has now been made and there is no channel mask anymore, but we do have a selection. Now, if you really wanted to make this a channel mask, all you have to do is come back down and convert it into a channel mask by clicking this button down here, the save selection as channel button and it'll bring it back up for you as a channel mask. But the pretty much the whole thing about editing in quick mask mode is that you, it's like a one-time selection and you didn't really want to have um, a or need a channel mask. But every once in a while, you, maybe your client want, is like, hey, I really want a channel mask with this so I can use it for something else. Then you have the ability to do that easily. So <clears throat> that's all you need to know about uh, using the quick mask for now and then in the next tutorial I'll go over the options you can use using a quick mask. So be sure to check out that tutorial. See you later everybody.